Hello and welcome to another video in Victory Point Cafe's 5 and 5 series, where we give you five great game recommendations in five minutes. I'm Antonio, one of the game gurus here at VPC. Now most games, even board games, are just that, games. It's the simple fact that makes a deck of standard playing cards so useful. You can put one of a thousand different rule sets on them, and the cards almost transform into different pieces. But no matter the rules, those playing cards aren't going to be able to tell you a story or help transport the player into the world of the game. Some games, however, are as much about setting the scene and dropping you in the shoes of its characters as they are about creating a tight and balanced rule set. These games have a focus on narrative instead of strategy, and the best of them can help a gaming group create some truly fantastic tall tales. This is our list of five great games that tell a great story. This one may be a bit obvious with the word stories in the name, but I stand by it. Time Stories is a sort of self-running RPG in a box that puts players in the role of time agents who have to go back in time to stop temporal anomalies from forming. Essentially, you stop bad things from happening in crazy worlds full of story. Worlds such as a Tim Burton-esque turn-of-the-century sanitarium, a small town of the 90s straight out of the X-Files, or really any other setting the designers want to bring to the game. These stories and worlds come to life thanks to a somewhat fragile but well-designed system of cards that are well-labeled and numbered, and many of them have great art that really brings the theme to life and draws players into the world and the mystery contained in these cards. While some think of this game as the little spin-off cousin of Fantasy Flight's Arkham Horror, I'm in the camp that tends to think Eldritch Horror is closer to Arkham Horror 2.0. Not only is Eldritch a sleeker, shorter experience than Arkham, but the way Fantasy Flight designers put the different decks together for each great old one you can play against really helps bring the game to life. This deck system and the well-written flavor text works together to make a unique story each time that you and your friend's characters uh, trek across globes to close portals, gain clues, and investigate rumors. I will admit to being a little bit biased as I'm an HP Lovecraft fan, but that being said, I can say with a fair bit of certainty that you too will be a fan of this game. Quite possibly the first storytelling game that people thought of when they clicked on this video, Tales of the Arabian Nights is an almost group choose your own adventure experience. Most of this game's table footprint is the traditional large board that comes with this kind of epic game. But the meat of the game comes from a massive book of tales that contains all of the encounters and experiences that a player can have in this game. One look at the size of this book and the number of possibilities it contains really shows you how great of a time can be had thanks to the sheer amount of potential story that has been poured into this game. My personal vote for best game of 2014, Dead of Winter has been very well received by the board gaming community, thanks in part to its brand new Crossroads card mechanic. These cards really bring the zombie survival game to life by adding the possibility for the world of the game to react to you, the player. This not only immerses people even more into the game, but it helps success successfully convey the feeling of a living world for these characters to survive in. And that's a real achievement. Throw these cards into the mix with the different main objectives, crisis cards, personal objectives, and the possibility of a traitor really keeps this game fresh by providing players a different scenario with different twists and turns each time you sit around the table to play this game. Another favorite here at VPC by both the staff and the customers, the trail at House on the Hill puts players smack in the middle of one of dozens of classic horror movies, all of which, of course, take place in a creepy house on the hill. And that's right, I said dozens. I'm pretty sure that's why there isn't a the before betrayal in the title, but that's currently unconfirmed. This game has less flavor text than the other games in this list, but the near-perfect way in which Betrayal conveys a theme that is almost universally recognized helps players get into their characters and bring the game to life with their own tension and excitement. I mean, 
try not to get a little nervous energy about you as you attempt to race your character to the chapel. Of course this house has a chapel, because, well, why not? Uh, before the ghost bride can marry your uh, buddy and then kill him, you know, so they can be together forever. Well, that's it for our list and that's it for our video. Don't forget to leave us any questions, omissions, or grievances in the comments below. Or, as always, you can come down to the cafe to argue with us in person or try any of these great games yourself. Thanks for watching and, as always, game on.